Tom, a roller coaster of emotions this afternoon. Can you try and sum up how you're feeling? Yeah, obviously, first and foremost, the result's the most important thing, uh, especially at the start of the season. I said that in my press conference. We'll go for substance over style. Uh, I thought we navigated the first 60 minutes really well. It was, uh, it was how I expected the game to go, to be competitive in first and second contacts, to protect our channels well. I thought we did that magnificently. I thought Mighty Pollock was outstanding today. Then the next bit we controlled uh, through possession when, when picking them off and we just couldn't manage that game going into the last half an hour well enough. I said to the players, I take full responsibility. I, I will never ask, I won't, always want our midfielders to show for the ball, to, to be try and pick team pressure off with passes. Today it was just technical mistakes along with that, but it's, it's a, it'd be a lot worse situation if they were, they were hiding, which they weren't. So made it hard for ourselves in the end, but that's part we can get we can improve that game management and that comes with confidence as well so no listen it's it's what you're in football for these last minute winners and our, our supporters go home as happy as me you spoke before about making a good start and keeping the den crowd quiet and we certainly did that in the first 15 20. yeah they're good at what they do you know they, they first 15 minutes was a territory game and and we spent a little bit too much of it in our own half that i'd have liked um, but yeah, I thought first second contacts were huge today, especially Matty Pollock. And, um, it's yeah, it's a big part of the game here. I'm, the, I'm not, it's not unfashionable. It's part of football, and and we valued it today, and we were good at it. And, and I thought we we um, it changed the momentum of the game in our favour. Edek Coimbe with the opener straight from a corner, a set piece is something you've been working on, hoping to get more goals from corners, free kicks this season. Yeah, it's a huge target of mine. Um, we've not scored a set piece since I've been in charge. Um, so we've been working a hell of a lot in pre-season to, to improve that. We've been so many, we've been close so many times in pre-season, uh, and it's just not found the back of the net. So today to have that one um, go in and, and George's stunning free kick, it was, it was nice that we're on off the mark with with the set piece tally. You mentioned last week you don't want to sing Georgie's praises too much, but he showed what he can do, and that was a, a fabulous finish from the free kick. Yeah, not just the free kick; it was an outstanding performance. You know, he's. The class that he shows to receive the ball, to, to travel with the ball, to his positional awareness, is it was a real top performance. And if, if it were as nail biting, I could have probably enjoyed his performance even more. But he's been brilliant the last two or three games. It's my, my job to um, to get more out of him goals and assists. He's made a great start and, and now he, he, it's in his hands to kick on. You mentioned um, Millwall came back into the game. What are your thoughts at, at 2 all? Did you always think there'd be one more chance? Yeah, listen, we... we we can manage that part of the game better, but you, you could argue that we scored against a winner play at 1-0. Um, I thought we, we, they, they were coming on strong the start of the second half and the free kick really was a great time into that goal. It took the sting out of them. Shot ourselves in the foot a little bit. I, I think our supporters would agree we never seem to do it the, the simple way and that's where we have to improve. You know, I expect us to take leads um, this season. That's how we're going to set up and it's just that managing that next part now when teams do come at us a little bit more, pick them off with real class and, and precision and, um, and and then we manage the game and see it out better. And then Mileta Rajevic with the finish, that's what he can do well, the sort of poachers, goals from close to the, the net. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, really pleased for Mile. He, um, he's, he's set an example for players who maybe haven't had as much minutes as he'd like and and his training performances try to prove me wrong every day. Um, it should be an example for, for any young players and that that get left out and and maybe have a sulk on. He he every single day he he improves and he uh, he proves me wrong. He tries to prove me wrong. I'm really pleased for him that he deserves that bit of uh, good fortune today. Uh, when you woke up this morning, could you have imagined there being this much drama on the opening day? Not at all. No, you know if you look at the the stats from the home games here since Harris is back in charge and there's not many goals. It's I think eight goals for, two goals against in seven games. 10 goals in seven games since Harris has been back and we've had five in one game today. So it wasn't the game we were expecting, but I'm thrilled with the three points. Like I said, it's, it's substance over style for, for the first block of games. Just finally, the Watford fans were singing your name at the end. Do you have a message for them? Oh, that'll never get old, you know. I've, 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 I, uh, I said to Damon today, driving in, it's, it, this is the closest feeling I've had to, to playing again when you're coming into a hostile environment like this. and. And you're trying to trying to make yourselves uh, it's your home pitch for the next 90 minutes and, and really implement your style. I, I get a buzz out of that. And yeah, the, the hairs on the back of my neck stand up every time those fans sing my name and it'll never get old. So I appreciate it a lot. Cheers, Tom. Thank you. Cheers.